So I'm back out here with Rose. Rose, I met you for the first time on July 20th. Uh, how have you been since then? Things have been a little bit different out here for me. So, I mean, I'm getting myself together in a way. Um, my relationship fell apart due to stepping out of the relationship with one another. Um, a lot of people being jealous of me, causing conflicts on the street. Um, a lot of hit and misses, but still find composure to hold myself together. Um, but I went to Gua to go see my grandma. They moved her a little coffee. So it was like, it was kind of and shit. Um, then I was gonna get married. Uh, like two days ago, but I didn't end up getting off the train because I was low key in labor. And then um, I finally got over here yesterday. I've been gone, so I finally came back over here yesterday night. Where had you been? I've been in Gua, Tempe, Scottsdale, Mesa. I've been just everywhere. Gua is Guadalupe. Yes. Well, they're by Tempe. My grandma's gonna be buried at, but it didn't work out that way. A lot of stuff happened as I was walking, but then I changed changed routes and like just gathered my thoughts, my inner self, and she was looking up for me. When I finally got over here, there were mad people being jealous too, and then. That brings me to envy and jealousy. I'm not gonna say names, but somebody did some voodoo, gave me cancer, and I'm fighting that now. It's kind of rough because my grandma passed away. So, so it's like kind of mm -hmm. my mindset is like depressed, but I know I gotta keep pushing for others to see I'm okay. But the most part. So somebody out here on the streets did voodoo to you and gave you cancer? Yeah. Yep. Did, so you went to the doctor and the doctor said you have cancer? Well, the same symptoms my grandma was having as the coughing, the throwing up, phlegm, the fevers, the hot and cold sweats, like all the things that cancer patients start to get. My hair is falling out, I'm getting up blood, it is bad. And the people that did voodoo on you, those are just people out here in the streets that are like jealous. Well, of it's you. actually a friend I grew up with when I was in a group home with Vincent and Ellie. She was cutting her and I said, things ain't always that simple at life, but you got a friend right here if you need one. I went over there and got my wrist with her. Everybody was looking at me, it was weird, but it didn't matter to me because in my eyes I was helping. And I have a heart, so I'm gonna put it to you. So that person is feel weird about doing that. So they made me a promise, don't do that again. And she hasn't done it since, but when she got out here, she just started getting real jealous, trying to take over my life as if it was hers. But that's not the case. So. That's a lot of activity in the past month. Right. That's a lot of things going on for you, right? Is that typically how 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 it is in your life? Just busy and yeah. It may seem like I'm doing nothing, but I'm always wondering around doing something. If it's not for me, it's for somebody else. If it's not for somebody else, it's for another person. It's like when do I get a break in life? But at the end of the day, I'm not a selfish person, and I have far so meaningful things matter to me. The littlest things matter, and life itself is just beautiful. So I try to cherish it while I can. With having cancer and all that, making me look at things a lot different. So making me like be grateful a whole lot more than I was before. Just careless, but caring at the same time. I wish sit in shit kind of thing. You start to care more about that other person than you do yourself. But how can you love somebody if you don't even love yourself? So. Why don't you love yourself though? It just starts with the root. 
the root of his heart and soul, of your mind, your mente, how things proceed, things overcome, how you get up when you fall. If there's a hand out there if you need it, that's what comes. What do the next 30 days look like for you? Well, I send my little people off. Uh, my kids are going to shine for me. Um, but I'm just chilling back, relaxing, trying to gather myself a little more and get a grip before you know, passing. Hopefully not prayers, I don't. But You're too young to be passing away. That's what I said, but then I start to think of how young I am, but how much of an old soul I have. Due to my past and me having to grow up so When's your birthday? August 8th. August what? 8th. So 2003. it just, just passed? Yeah. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. What did you end up doing that day? Nothing. <laughs> no celebrating, no cake, no nothing? Mm -mm. And you turned how old? 23. 23 years old? Um, I think it's unfortunate that uh, these folks are out here doing voodoo on you and being envious and je jealous of you. Just continue to have that big heart and uh, while you're caring for other people, take time to care for yourself. You know? Working on that day by day. Yeah? Yeah. A little bit of therapy that you do for yourself? Well, yeah. Listening to music, writing, stuff like that, but it's kind of hard when people take your things because and you're jealous. Come right. Yeah. The little tattoo by your eye, the little broken heart. When did you get that? Uh, years ago, actually, when I was 18. What does it signify? A broken soul can only fix another broken soul, a soul, but it has to be as strong as another soul broken. But if it's not, then it can't be fixed again. Are you hopeful for your future? I live life too fast. I've been around more than you think. But I've been good. I've been blessed no matter what. You just gotta have hope, faith. Hey. Honor, trust, respect, loyalty. Once those things play into character, things will start looking up. Do you feel optimistic? Yeah, at times. When I feel like I'm on top of the world. Yeah, at times. No, it's like... Sometimes it's, it's a rough life. Mm -hmm. But you know what? You seem really very like strong strong-willed strong character you could defend yourself and uh, protect yourself from all the craziness that life throws at you that's just I just have to. you have to because you've been doing it since at an early age right mm -hmm. since the age of 12 mm -hmm. yeah. for other 12 year olds 13 year olds that ever get put in your position. Live life to the fullest. One life, one love. All for one. All for all. Does a 12 year old understand that though? Yeah. Yeah? They're smart enough. Okay. It doesn't take a preschooler to not understand what life is. You're living. Okay. Um, I was going to ask you. If people want to help you, like what type of help do you need? Do you need clothing? Do you need shoes? Do you need toiletries? No. Food? Food, yeah. You like food? Yeah, yeah. What type of food do you like? Uh, Mexican food. <laughs> What's your favorite Mexican um, dish? Uh, carne asada fries. Really? Yeah, with polo, except onion. Except onion. You don't mm -hmm. like onion. Mm -hmm. That's your... um. You're a foodie, basically. You like eating. You like food, tearing it up, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, good to know. I'll go get you some food right now, okay? 
So um, thank you very much for talking to me. I'm glad that you're safe. Please uh, continue to build yourself up. And hopefully one day soon you're off the streets and doing better, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll talk soon.